The Polish Volleyball League is probably the league in the world that gets the most attention and media coverage. Unfortunately, most of that coverage, if not all of it, is in Polish. So I'm here today to talk to you guys about the best volleyball players in Poland, the best defensive players, the most improved player, and of course, the most valuable player, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. As always, leave a comment if you guys have a different opinion on a pick. And let's get started with the all-stars of the Polish Plus Liga, one of the best men's volleyball leagues in the world. Let's start with outside hitter, and American fans are going to like the first one. It's Taylor Sander, the national team starting outside hitter, playing for Skraw Belchatov. And despite missing a lot of the first chunk of the season with the same injury he missed all of last season with, he is having just an unbelievable second half to the season, leading the Plus Liga in ma many major statistical categories and being a big reason why Skra Belchatov is even making the playoffs right now. And that's the issue. Uh, he missed a lot of the season, so Skra's record isn't that great. But still, I had to put him on the team just because of the incredible uh, statistical output. His efficiencies and serving is off the chart compared to the other outside hitters. For the second spot, it was kind of tough to choose because there's two outside hitters on the same team. Zaksa, Kedjerj, and Kozil could have gone with either one. In a lot of ways, they're almost identical, the same height, same stats almost. Uh, but the guy I decided to go with is Camille Semenyuk, who some of you guys may not know. He's uh, a bit of a grinder. He's come up through the ranks of Zaksa's youth team and has now been a very important part of their starting lineup for the past two seasons. Uh, averaging 4.2 points per set, 22% uh, reception, and 54% attacking with five match MVPs on the season. So he's doing a really good job. One of Zax's most important pieces and a huge reason why they're absolutely dominating the Plus Liga this year. Next up, let's talk about middle blockers and we'll go right away with another Zaxa player, Jakub Kohanowski, the prodigal. Polish middle blocker, a huge part of Poland's golden generation of youth players, and I think their leader, averaging 2.8 points per set, 0.76 blocks per set, which is insane, and another unreal stat, 71.4% attacking. So on 7 of 10 attacks, he's scoring. Just an absolutely offensive beast. First year in Zaxa, doing a great job. Uh, despite being a little undersized as a middle blocker at 6'7", he's so fast and so strong that he makes up for his slight lack of size with incredible, incredible athleticism. And the second middle blocker is Pyotr Nowakowski, another Polish national team middle. There's a lot of good Polish middles. Let's, let's throw that one out there. 2.2 uh, points per set, a league leading 0.8 blocks per set, leading the league in terms of number of blocks as well and 61% attacking. So the offense is not where Jakub Kowanowski is and neither is a serving, but he's just an incredible, incredible blocker. And, and that's a huge reason why Versava is one of the best blocking teams in the entire Plus Liga. And since we just talked about him, it's a great time to do my defensive players of the year, separating into front row and back row. And of course, front row is gonna be Pyotr Novakovsky, just anchoring that Versava block defense doing a great job getting out to the ball and he's not the fastest or most athletic blocker but he's so technical so good at reading the ball so good at you know closing out to the pins really strongly just had to put him as my most impactful defensive player of the year in the back row I'm going with a guy who is part of so many insane saves and rallies this season and that's Pavel Zatorski on Kedzirz and Kozil doing a great job picking up tons of balls got to be one of the best back row defenders in the in the entire world of volleyball I was going to say in the league but in any league uh, one of those rare guys who manages to make digs that you wouldn't otherwise think of uh, shout out to Dustin Wadden to another great libero to watch in Poland for my setter, I'm picking another Zaxa player. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of them on this list, but they're doing so well in the Polish Plus Liga. And one of the main reasons for that is definitely French setter Benjamin Taniuti, one of the most elite setters in volleyball, despite being only 5'11", 6 feet tall. Insane. Leading his team to a 
99.7 team attack percentage, which in the league where, like Poland, where the blocking is really high level, it's an unbelievable stat. And they also had the best record in the league. Every player on Zaxa is doing a really good job hitting efficiently. And of course, the main reason for this is Benjamin Taniyuti, his ability to run a perfect in-system offense, but basically able to run an in-system offense from like anywhere in front of the attack line and, and sometimes past the attack line. He's just so precise no matter where he is on the court. The libero position was a tough one and I'm actually not going with the guy who I gave my back row defensive player of the year because there's more to being a libero than making spectacular digs. You also have to consider reception. And the guy who did that the best in the league this year was Jakub Popovshak. The libero playing on Yastrebshi Vegil, passing at 32.5% reception, the second highest mark in the league and the highest among liberos. Ruben Schott taking that top spot. Funnily enough, Jakub did a great job at being the centerpiece of one of the best reception lines in the entire league. And also was no slouch on defense either. He did do a great job digging in secondary setting as well and my libero of the season. At opposite, another guy who you might not have expected if you haven't been following the Plus Liga closely the last couple years because this guy, another player who shot up the rankings in Poland and that's Karol Butrin, the opposite of Rysovia this year, averaging 5 points per set, 0.42 to aces per set, 54% attacking leading the entire league in match MVPs with eight. That's how important he's been to the offense of Rysovia. Done a great job scoring a lot of points on a high efficiency. And you guys know I love when you combine those two things, that's when you get an effective opposite. He's leading the league in scoring and just keeps getting a little better every year. And you guys, again, you might not know him because he's he hasn't been featured on the Polish national team in any of their most recent international events. He's not in any Volleyball World highlight videos, but he's still a fantastic player. And before I go to my MVP picks, I'm going to give you my most improved uh, in Rookie of the Year. And the Rookie of the Year this year goes to Moritz Reicher, the German outside hitter playing for Gdansk this year. And he's not having as impressive a season as some of the All-Stars, averaging 2.2 points per set on 44.5% attacking. But he's still been an effective player for a very good Gdansk team, who despite not having All-Stars, still has a couple players that were close to making my list, like Marcin Giannas and Pablo Crer. But to be honest, there just weren't really any good young players who were new to the Polish League this year. So Richard, but you kind of just get it because there was no one else to pick from. And for my most improved player, I picked Bartosz Bolads, the opposite playing in his second season in Slovakia after returning from a brief stint in Germany and making a lot of improvements since he's returned to his motherland in Poland. A very bouncy athletic opposite he's scoring 4.7 points per set up from 4.2 last year, improving his attacking from 49 to 52 and averaging 0.5 aces per set among the league leaders along with five match MVPs this year. So that serving improvement has been huge for him. He's attacking better. He's attacking smarter. And as if Poland didn't already have enough good opposites, here's another to the list of guys who's going to be a force potentially for Poland going forward. And finally, we have the MVP of the Polish Plus Liga. Pretty tough to pick this year because there's a lot of guys who it could have been given to. And all those guys are on the one team, Zaxa, because I, I, I kind of weight the team record when I'm picking my MVPs. And Zaxa just stomped the Polish Plus Liga this year, only losing two games as of the recording of this video. So they've done a great job this year. Definitely the championship favorites. So let's see what my top three is. The, the third guy I pick is the all-star Camille Semeniuk. Done a great job. Improved a little bit every year, but he just keeps getting better and better to the point where he's a very good offensive threat. He's a serving threat. He's a great blocker. He's a great defender. Uh, and he's a great uh, receiver. Super important for an outside to have all of the skills. So, you know, he's got the big five. He's got all five skills down pat and doing them at a high level. And that's really important for an outside hitter. Next up, I have Jakub Kohanowski, who's 
stats and just physical presence when you watch him play just really jump out at you hitting over 70 percent attacking is absolutely ridiculous you guys probably watched a lot of highlights from him over the years he's kind of like robert landy simone where he just pounds the ball as hard as he can into the floor and, and just makes him so incredibly difficult to dig and he's got it on the defensive end as well making up for his lack of size with some ridiculous lateral quickness and ability to close out to the pins the serving is a little weaker than it has been in the past so i'd, I'd like to see him improve on that element of his game but for mvp i'm gonna have to give it to the man the maestro benjamin tawny udi who has given us a master class of how to be an effective setter with Kedzir's and Kojal this year. Done an unreal job of getting everyone on that team just up their attacking percentages. His hitters feel so comfortable with him in rhythm. And the thing I love about Benjamin and Tony Udi is that there's no like out of rhythm. There's barely any out of system with him. He's just pinpointing the same tempo, same speeds from anywhere on the court. He can fire it from position one just as easily as he can from position two over to position four so i love to see a guy like tony Udi, who's just he's working his magic and doing a great job with the team and he's playing great back row defense which makes up to a certain extent to his uh poor blocking obviously they drop him in the block a lot and he's underrated server he can definitely put teams out of system with his serve even if he's not scoring a lot of aces so there's some interesting storylines going into the playoffs can anyone stop zach zikadjush and kojal Showing you guys a quick recap of the team on the screen here. And remember, I want to hear if you guys have any different opinions. It was really fun in the last video about Italian All-Stars. Talking with you guys in the comments. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Tell your friends if they're also volleyball fans. And I'll see you guys next time with the Russian All-Stars.